Well, Gina Pearson did a tag um, yesterday that I found very interesting, and I did like it. And so I'm going to leave her link down below so you can go check out her, um, uh, what do you call it, channel. And um, I'm going to tag right away so that they can write the questions down <laughs> because I'm too lazy to type them into the information box. I'll be honest with you. There's 16 questions. Um, Gina did write them down. So if you do do the tag, just go to Gina's channel and, and they're already written down. There you go. But I'm going to tag uh, Kelly over on Freedom in a Budget. And is it Freedom in a Budget or Freedom on a Budget? I think it's Freedom in a Budget, uh, but her name is Kelly. I'm going to tag you, Kelly. I'm going to tag Carrie over at Weight Watchers with Carrie. I'm going to tag Valerie Reese because she does a lot of reviews. And one more. Hmm. I'm going to tag Anita because I think Anita's been... Um, I think Anita can answer this, a chit-chat paddywhack. So those are who I'm going to tag, and I'm going to let you know right away, I am not writing the questions in the information box below, but um, go to Gina's channel. She'll have them written down. Okay, the first question is, have you ever received a product, you tried it, didn't like it, and decided not to review it? Um, no. I've, I've never gotten a product that I, that I tried that I didn't like that I can think of. I did get a product, which I will show you, is this E-Tech City um, nutritional scale. Um, let me show it to you real quick here if I can get the box open. I keep it in the box. I keep it in my kitchen. So I keep it in the box only because it's easier to store. And obviously I can't get it out of the box because I don't know what I did. There we go. I, I, I struggle. I struggle a lot. But um, this is... And I really like this. I, I really do like it a lot. Let me see if I can turn it on. I don't know if you can see it too much. I think um, Anita got one, so you, she did a review on it. So you can go over to her channel and see it. She's in the link down below. Um, I had originally, they had given me the body weight scale. And I had used that, and I really liked it. And I did a review, and a lot of you did, a lot of people did go over to Amazon and purchase it. And then a couple months later, um, they contacted me about if I wanted to have this uh, nutritional scale. And I thought, well, I like the body scale. I'm going to try that too. So they sent me the body scale, but they didn't give me any information for a discount for any of the, my subscribers um, that would want to purchase it. So I contacted the company and I told them, you know, like I did your body scale. You got a lot of business from me. Um, because people at, on my site had told me that they had gone over there and they had loved the scale. Um, I'd like a discount code so that if they order this scale that they can get a little bit off. And uh, they said, no, we don't do that. We won't give you a discount. And uh, so I said, well, then I'm going to mail the scale back because I'm not going to do a review on it because uh, if you're not going to, I'm not going to, you know, publicize something that you're not willing to at least give them a little bit of a discount. And uh, they said, well, just don't do the review. Keep the scale. But when Anita got contacted by the same company, um, they, uh, they offered a discount. So if you really like the scale, go onto her channel, go through her um, videos and find the one where she did the review on it. And I'm pretty sure that she did like, have a link. The only thing I can think of is that enough people said that, you know, I'm not going to review it unless you give a discount. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, number two is product you use alone but don't show or use online. Um, no, that I don't. I don't do any of that. I don't use a product that I use that I don't show. Any product that I use, I show. Um, I guess um, product you won't. Oh, product you want but won't buy because you don't support the brand. Um, I guess that would fall into the same character care category as the scale. Um, I would recommend it if you really wanted it. But I wouldn't push it because I think that, you know, like if they want me to do a review on it, the least they can do is, um, you know, it's like free advertising. What is it going to hurt for them to take a little bit of a discount, I guess? Um, do you have any blocked words? No, no blocked words. Um, do you delete comments? And if so, why? Um, no, I don't delete comments. I have like a friendly, which I consider a friendly banter. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Jim's going to be sanding down the basement. So that's the noise you're going to hear. He's re-sanding um, the, um, the park bench that we have outside. We didn't steal it from a park. I got it as a gift. <laughs> but but um, 
he's gonna restain he's gonna refinish Christie's dining room table, but he's practicing on my park bench. So I'm, I apologize for the noise. Um, but anyway, I don't delete comments. I do kind of get into a, a banter with them because, um, I don't know, fortunately or unfortunately, I'm pretty quick-witted and I can come, I can have a comeback really quick, which is not really Christian-like, but, you know, we are all sinners in one time or another, I guess. But, um, and so I kind of get, I, on my other channel, I was with a, uh, I considered a, a friendly battle but the other person kind of took it to the ooh, to the other limits uh, about my experience with direct tv and uh it was it was fun i had fun with it so i no, i don't do i don't um do you black people no you know i i really don't black people um i've been very fortunate i have gotten a few comments that uh, you know were a little on the uh questionable side but um I, I've been very fortunate that I've not had many mean-spirited people on there. Have you ever lied about a product to stay on good terms with the brand? No. If I don't like something, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. And um, I'm, I'm not going to lie about it. Um, have you ever initially liked a product when you reviewed it, then changed your mind but didn't let your audience know? No. I weigh myself once in a while, not very often, but once a month I weigh myself on my body scale um, just to see my, my how my body mass, it, it lists everything, your body mass and your bone density and, and all of that. So I do it once a month just to kind of keep a tra keep track of how I'm doing. And, uh, but uh, I anything I've gotten, uh, the Teamy Tea, uh, I particularly didn't like, but that's just me. I. Um, I did a review on it. The one tea I did try, I did like. I forget which one it was exactly, the one I tried that I liked. But um, I ended up, I gave it to my cousin, the rest of the tea. Um, it, it just, I mean, everybody loves it. Uh, Kelly over on Freedom in a Budget has a, a code for it. Um, if you want to try it, go look at her tag and then you'll see in her one of her things that I think she puts it in her description box. And uh, I think um, Carrie uses it too. I'm just, I love tea, but I'm, I'm just not a big fan of the tea, the teamy tea. Um, is there an influencer that you don't trust? No, I, I pretty much, I, I really like the, if, they're, if they're honest. I, you know, you can pretty much tell if somebody's being honest. Uh, number 11, oh, secret tips or a product application you don't show while on camera. No, I don't use any makeup, so I'm, I'm assuming that's for a makeup uh, review, and I don't wear makeup at any time, ever. When I was younger, I put a little bit of eyeshadow and eyeliner on, and a little bit of lipstick, and maybe a little bit of rouge, but rouge, as they still call it rouge? That just shows you how old I am. I don't even know what they call it anymore. Oh, it reminds me of a story. I tell stories all the time. Uh, when my son Danny was getting married, he... Um, um, wanted, you know, everybody to look really nice. And I thought, you know, I'm going to wear some makeup for for his wedding. I want to look really nice. So I want to get my hair done, which usually I do my own hair. Can't you tell? Isn't it gorgeous? I need a haircut. But anyway, I thought, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna get some makeup. I'm going to put some makeup on. I hadn't put makeup on for like 30 years. It, it just seemed like, okay, I'll get some makeup on. So where do you go to get makeup? Do you go to the, like, Macy's at the makeup counter? Or over here, it'd be help. You know, no, it's still Macy's now. But you know, like, do you go to like, I can't even think. Ultra is that is that a place for makeup? That just shows you how much I don't wear makeup. But anyway, I went to the most legitimate place you're gonna go to get makeup. I went to CVS. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm in the makeup line or aisle, and I'm looking at the makeup, and, and this lady comes, and she was really pretty. And uh, I said, what? Well, could you help me please? And I explained that my son was getting married. I wanted to get some makeup, but I wanted, I know that you're supposed to have the skin tones and all that. Oh, she, oh my gosh, she was so excited. So uh, she, um, she got all the makeup and you know, like she put that on my hand and you know, and she got all done and we figured, we picked out some eyeshadow and powder or blush or whatever you call it and uh, lipstick and that. And she was so excited for me. And uh, so she says, oh, I just know you're gonna be beautiful at your wedding. Now, if you know me, you know, I don't like, I'm not a hugger. I'm just not a hugger. If I know a hug is coming my way, I 
get ready for it and I accept it. But I am not a hugger. So uh, I thought, okay, this woman looks like a hugger. You know, I can, I can spot you. I know what you look like. I know what a hugger looks like. So I thought, she's going to hug me. So I was all set, ready for the hug. What I was not ready for was that she's giving me the hug and she's reaching in to give me the hug. She gives me a big old kiss right smack dab on my lips. <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? I thought, oh my gosh. So she says, you are going to be beautiful. I just know it. I only wish I knew where you live so that I could come and see you after the wedding and see how it went. I says, I shop here all the time. I'm sure we'll see each other. And then I went away and I never saw her again ever. But I was like, anyway, okay, stop. You know, if you watch me, you know, I kind of go off. Um, have you ever shown one product, but we're actually using another? Nope, never done that. Have you ever not disclosed a sponsorship? A sponsor, a sponsor, no. Have you ever not, wait a minute. Have you ever not disclosed a sponsorship? No. <laughs> I, you know, I, if I'm using it, I, I promote things that I don't even get paid for. I absolutely love the Rubbermaid uh, Fridge Smart containers, and I push them all the time. I would hope that they would see one of my videos and give me a code that I could give you guys, because I'm telling you, I should probably contact the company, because Chit Chat Paddywhack did that one time, and they, they uh, gave her some free products, and they gave her a discount code. I should think of that, because even if they don't, you get them at Target or Bed Bath & Beyond or Kroger's, they're everywhere. And they're a little pricey, but in the long run you save a lot of money on fruit and vegetables that don't go bad because they stay fresh forever. Well, not forever. You know what I mean, for a long time. Um, have you ever had a bad interaction with a brand? Nope. Uh, have you ever band bandwagon with other people's thoughts on a particular product? No. Things that other creators do that get on your nerves. Hmm. Well, I am envious and jealous of people that can make really cool thumbnails. And I've tried, I'm trying to go on that Canva.com to try to do some of my own thumbnails. I do have one, which, um, I, you know, I'll use it at the beginning of this video. I'll show you in the beginning of this video. My thumbnail is the one that I created on Canva, but um, that was like a fluke. I'm, I'm just not tech savvy. I'm just not tech savvy. So I, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a work in progress in more ways than one. But um, other than, off of that track, I'm envious and jealous of people that can do that. But also, uh, I don't like, I like when people start their things out with really cool graphics. Um, Valerie Reese has got a really cool opening graphic. I love her opening graphic. I absolutely love it. And I love like when they play music at the beginning, but I don't like when there's music all through it and you can't hear the people talking. I like a little bit of music at the beginning, a little bit of music at the end, but I don't like it when you're talking. That aggravates me. That doesn't stop me from watching, but I still watch, but that, that would be the only thing that would get on my nerves, so. Um, well, I wanted to thank Gina. She didn't really tag me. She just tagged everybody in general. But check out the channels that I mentioned down below. Uh, hopefully the people that I mentioned will do the tag. And uh, I hope you like this video. To give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and share it if you think somebody else might want to do it. And if you want to do the tag, do the tag and let me know in the comments below and I'll come over and check out your channel. So um, I'll see you on my daily vlog. Well, while I was editing this video, I found it very ironic <laughs> that I was complaining about the music being distracting. Oh my gosh, Jim was so distracting with Sandy the park bench. I apologize. I can't, I was going to redo the video and I thought, no, I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to come at the end here and tell you. Now I realize, now you got a clue. <laughs> Because now when you listen to videos with music, you're going to say, oh, you know what? Sandy was right. But then you are going to think to yourself, you know what? She's such a hypocrite. She's saying how it annoys her to have music in the background, and she's got that sand going the whole time, sander going the whole time. So, okay. I just had to come on here and tell you that. Oh, he's starting again. We got to go.